What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and we have another blockbuster battle for you. It's a Prize Fight punch out between the HTC Droid Incredible and the Motorola Droid X. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Bonnie Boom Boom Cha, senior associate editor Nicole Ice Cold Lee, and you know who? All night long, Tong. We'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Get ready for some droid on droid action. First round is sexiness and durability. The Droid Incredible has a compact and slender profile that fits in your hand. Its rubberized surface can take a beating, and even if the ladies like the topographic design, I'm still not a fan of the triple layer booty. Now, the Droid X has a whopping 4.3 inch screen for its main attraction, but this phone is large. It's not comfortable to hold, and it's even taller and less pocket friendly than another prize fight favorite, the Evo 4G. Translation this thing is huge. The Incredible takes this round with a 4.3, and the Droid X gets a 3.7. Next round is controls and user interface. The Incredible features HTC's Sense UI, and it's hands down our favorite flavor of Android with its elegance and customization, and it really makes Android less intimidating to newbies, even with its learning curve. Nicole and Bonnie didn't like the optical joystick, but it doesn't take away from the device for me. The Droid X gets some love here for its row of physical navigation buttons and the super hot swipe keyboard option built in. But the Moto Blur interface isn't as polished as the Sense UI, and why did they decide to swap the home and menu buttons that are pretty much the same on all flagship Android phones? This one's close, but the Incredible just gets the edge of the floor, and the Droid X gets a 3.7. So after averaging two rounds, the Incredible leads by half a point, but there's plenty of fight left. Round three is features. These phones are almost identical under the hood with 3G, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. They bring all of Android's goodies like voice search, batting cages, GPS turn by turn directions, and voice to text. What's shaking, bacon? But the Droid X is the new kid on the block, and being able to use it as a mobile hotspot and hook it up to a TV with its HDMI out, put it on top. The Droid X takes its first round with a 4.7, and the Incredible gets a 4. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. When it comes to web browsing and multimedia, these guys are almost carbon copy clones of each other. Browsing is pretty smooth on both phones, and they feature multiple windows and bookmark previews. Now, the Incredible features HTC's Sense UI Media Player, which is elegant and cleaner compared to the Droid X's standard player, which really needs some help. But forget about all that. The Droid X's 4.3 inch screen enhances every experience by making web surfing, looking at photos, and watching movies that much better. X marks the spot, and the Droid X gets a perfect five, and the Incredible gets a four. So after averaging four rounds, the Droid X has gained control, leading by two tenths of a point, but this is still anyone's fight. The final round that decides it all is call quality and performance. We tested these phones in different environments from New York City to the Northern California suburbs and San Francisco. The Incredibles call quality was mixed with Nicole and I experiencing more clicks and fuzz compared to the Droid X. Bonnie had a signal with no flaws and it was pristine in the NYC, but I've heard better phones from Verizon. Now we were also able to squeeze out a solid five and a half hours of battery juice when talking over 3G, and that is impressive. Now the Droid X was equally as good in New York for Bonnie with excellent call quality, but Nicole and I still heard a few pops and breaks over here. Our labs were able to pump out seven and a half hours of talk time on the Droid X, and that's even more impressive. Performance is king, and in the final round, the Droid X gets a 4.7, and the Incredible gets a four. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a prize fight where the Incredible took the early lead, the Droid X kept chipping away and takes this battle 4.4 to 4.1 and is your prize fight winner. Both of these phones are great picks for Verizon, but in this case, size and features matter. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Whoop -ah!